Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Officer here, and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. And in today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Now, this video may not be that long, but nonetheless, uh, you guys may or may not find it interesting. It depends. Today, I'm going to be testing out whether or not the police AI is actually smart enough to drive on, like, any place that's outside of Los Santos. And I know you guys are probably thinking, what the fuck is he saying? It's a, such a run-on. Uh, what I mean by this is, like, for instance, if you were to mod the game or mod anything or just spawn something, and even in the creator... Uh, and you spawn some platform out outside of uh, Los Santos, you just put police officers on it, or police uh, AI on it, I should say, uh, will they actually react to you, will they be able to drive around, how they will drive around, and etc. So, that's what we're going to be t into testing uh, in today's video. Now, with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys go on to enjoy the video. Uh, I may have had a few mishaps with testing. If you think anything is wrong with the testing, please let me know. Uh, but with that being said, let's just get straight into the video. What to do here is I'm going to see how they react. So, like, what I've done is I've spawned a few of these uh, vehicles here uh, via trainer. And uh, I decided to put, like, some random prop. I didn't load in North Yankton. I decided to put some random prop, and I put hostile police officers over here. These are my bodyguards. What happens is if you spawn a bodyguard, believe it or not, you actually, uh, they have the police capabilities, meaning that uh, if you aim at them, they'll oh still give you one level, as you see there. Now, those are the hostile cops over there, aka the cops basically in the game. So, they over here right now have a wanted level. Um, meanwhile, we over here, we have a wanted level and they're looking for us. But they're not really doing anything, probably because they were spawned over there. So, I mean, maybe I could have adjusted their patrol range or if they're in another vehicle. Now, as you can see, speaking of vehicles, none of them are really wow. driving away. They don't know how to react, I guess. Maybe. Possibly. Because they're in the middle of the ocean, just wrecking you. They're Like, we are in the middle of the damn ocean here, and uh, they don't know how to react. I just put a random block down and just spawn them on. It's pretty interesting how they are react with this. I guess nothing really happens, because I'm about to lose my wand level. They're already in search cone mode. Quite astounding really. That's what happens if you just aim a gun at one of the uh, bodyguards. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna try to uh, aim a gun at one of the hostiles here in just a second. Also, as you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the map there, but uh, there's actually a few distant police officers over there that uh, are actually trying to pursue us. Now, they just despawned because they lost the wanted level, but if I do this again, aim the gun, you might actually see them spawn soon enough because I don't know why sometimes it just spawns like faded police officers on the map and it happens in online too i don't really understand why it is maybe it's like some distance thing like if you're in a car with another online player uh then sometimes it spawns easy like for instance you see there's like a big threesome of them right here that's what she said but i mean yeah i thought it's pretty interesting that they just spawn over there anyways because i guess they have to have a few default los santos cops anyways yeah they're really looking hard over there okay so since i just lost my water level now i'm just gonna get in here uh with my bodyguards and uh, we're going to do a few things, of test, a few tests here. First test I'm going to do is just I'm just going to drive up behind them and see if they react to a siren or horn. All right, so we are behind them now. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sound my horn. Now usually AI gets triggered if I do this. Put a siren on. Put a yelp. Well, I don't know. Put on both air horn so it's actually surprising that they don't they aren't really like real AI that uh, like gets triggered at every little noise so I'm gonna try sneaking up behind one since they're on hostile now they don't even seem to care if you're behind them like they don't even hear your footsteps or anything pretty odd but the real reason I'm actually trying to test this out is to see what the AI will do if they're on a surface that isn't theirs for instance we're in the middle of the ocean just as San Andreas so what if I uh, just go ahead and try shooting one of them and let's see what happens with the uh, vehicles that are I've spawned in. So, I'm, so I just got a one of them, three stars. Now obviously the news on the side here aren't even shooting at them because they're both cops, everybody's cops now. It's pretty weird because the uh, Chargers actually followed me, so the, the SUV over here is not really following me so much. It's still staying in its little respective area. It's kind of odd. I actually expect it to be the other way around where it's actually they're both staying. Okay, I got a police chopper because I'm out of the map. I got a random news crew over here, I don't know his problem is. So yeah, so I put him over here, spawned him in. Now there's a few more modding tests that I want to do. For instance, like, uh, I'll try right now. I'll 
see if it's actually possible for me to get them to respawn on this land. So I'm gonna try killing all of them and uh, seeing if they respawn. And they're about to fall off. Okay. All right. So I think I just pretty much cleared everyone on the land as it is. So I'm gonna see if they respawn. So I'm gonna look away from where I initially spawned them down and see if that does anything good. All right. So it's been a good 30 seconds and uh, still like no sign of anybody else spawning. But yeah, this is this attack chopper is just gonna keep spawning by me. So this is about four stars right here because I was just shooting from them. Still, I'm, I'm not really surprised that they fell off, that the uh, SUV fell off the bridge. I mean, here are about eight officers in that vehicle. Pretty heavy, and uh, they don't even know where to drive because, in case you didn't know, the AI actually have to follow road patterns, as you can see, like, on Los Santos right here. So, I just thought that was a very interesting thing to say. And uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say, guys. I know it was a pretty quick video. I know it might be pointless to some of you, but I thought some of you guys might actually want to try it out because maybe no one has tried this before where you put police AI on some kind of like terrain where you know they're not supposed to be uh but that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching the video uh again i'll have a few quick details about the movie sooner or later maybe make a video about it uh, but with that being said guys i'm off site and i am signing out hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new.